Hey guys, Button25 here playing FSX once again. Today we will be flying an Air Berlin A321 from Berlin Tegel, which I almost called Tempelhof. Uh, no, it's perf, isn't it? No. Yes, code so E D D T to to Palm de Mallorca, which is L E P A zero one. Flight number B E R and it's two seven one two or something along those lines. Costing this, I don't know, twelve. I don't know. Cruise flight four. Out of range. Yeah, flight level four zero zero. Three nine zero zero. Not clear. Three nine zero then. There we go. So we're going to go to thirty nine. Yeah, turn on the terrain on now display. Uh, zoom out. Now load fuel. Packs two two zero. Cargo five fuel twelve. I don't know. Load instant now perf one slash up zero point eight. Yeah, if I switch over to flight control. Yep. Now let's go to flight plan. I'm just going to leave that as is, so. LEPL arrival. Let's go for that one. I think it was this one. Insert. No, right, um. Let's get the checklist started. Cockpit prep. Cockpit preparation checklist. Engine master. Both off. Engine mode selector. Check normal. Parking brake. Off. Trust levers. Idle. Ecam recall. Checked. Anti skid. On. Emergency lights. Checked and armed. No smoking signs. On. Air condition. Checked. Ventilation panel. Is checked. Fuel pumps. Set on. Adhere's. Checked. Checklist complete. Another will automatically go on to the next one. Before start checklist. Windows and doors. Closed and locked. APU. Set on. APU bleed. Yes, I'm presuming they're powering up the APU now. Yep, you can hear it. You can see we have the external power there. This is an actual route operated with this aircraft from Berlin Tegel. Yeah, Pegasus is not that large of an airport, I think. I'm not sure the temple not is there. I'm presuming that. No, that temple park? I don't know. Set hmm. on. External power. Disc. That means no longer relying on external power. 
Trust levers. Idle. Idle. Parking brake. Set. Set on. Bearer reference. Checked. One zero two six. One zero two six. Check. Beacon lights. Set on. Checklist complete. Hold on. Is this meant to be like? If you see those, then you're at the right distance or something. Yeah, we won't push back. And we'll be turning the nose left. Flight deck to ground. Go ahead, sir. I'm also going to get start uh, getting the engines up now. These are also CFM engines, you know. Roger. I'm just going to disconnect the parking brake. The ground equipment and stairs are clear, all doors are closed. Steering pin is in position and we're ready when you are, Captain. Start pushback. Start pushback. You now I've got flat. Like, that's interesting. Only, I think that's because only some of those are get their hydraulics from that engine. Parking brakes released. Okay. Engine one, two. Engine one is stabilized. <laughs> starting engine one, two. Yeah, he goes playing armor three again. Hold on, did I just mess up my directions altogether? No, this time... That's okay, I'm just going to let this thing push us back a bit before I stop the pushback and get us turning. See, I got both in and stabilized at this point. And pushback is complete, Captain. Please set your parking, parking brake. brakes. are set. Okay then, Captain. Tow bar disconnected. You know, steering pin is removed. Uh, all piercing. Okay, so have a good one. So. I'm waiting. After start checklist. So I'm going to get started. Engine mode selector. Set. APU bleed. Uh, Set give off. me a APU second master. here. Set off. Ground spoilers. Set. Ruder trim. Checked zero. Pitch trim. I'm not Checked. sure how that's supposed to be. That definitely looks like that guy is a. Uh, Full left. Taking a whiz. Full right. Full Neutral. Up. Full down. Neutral. Neutral. Check. Flaps. Set one. Flaps one. Anti ice. Off. Ecom status. Checked. Ecom door page. Checked. Hand signal. Received. Checklist Taxing complete. checklist. Oh, I think it did that Aerosoft glitch again. No flight. Set on. Brake check. Right, so I think. Brake. I did the brake check you did. Check. Oh wow, we're just going to head on to this one right here. I'm applying the brakes a bit here. Auto just... brakes. Max. Take off data. Received. Reviewed. FCU. Check. Whoa, hold on, no. No, 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 no. No, I'm going to swerve around this. Ah! Yeah. Oh, set before takeoff check. Checklist. I really. Right, I'm presuming we turn onto the runway on that taxiway. Whatever it's called. Off. Engine mode selector. 
Check normal. TCAS. T A R A tilt Take above. Device. Exterior lights. Set on. Sliding tables. Stowed. Stowed. Checklist complete. Yep, just turn right here and then we'll turn onto the runway, give her all she's got. And no, we're not going to set take off thrust yet. Lufthansa. Yeah. Approaching zero eight right. All right, let's turn on to this runway and then give her all she's got. Yeah, it seems this runway texture is a bit off. Meh. Meh, it's brilliant. Other way. On runway zero eight right. I'm just curious, is this what I have set? Okay, well, I want to make sure I have this set. No, I don't. Should I risk it? No, actually, I'm going to reprogram this. Zero eight right. I don't know what set that one. V1. Yeah, that, I th think that should still be in the. Take off. Man, flex, SRS, and runway. Check. There you go. We're gaining speed here. Oh yeah, this should be more than enough to take off. I say as I'm not even close to sure myself. V1. Rotate. Oh, that's very close to a tail strike. Positive climb. Gear up. Autopilot on. Gear up. Okay, then, as you can see, we're beginning to climb out here. And there you go, we're, we're beginning our slight turn here. I'm actually going to zoom back in. Gears up, lights off. Yeah, that's good, insert. I'm presuming, yep. Climb thrust. Just making sure that is set exactly in the climb position. Yep. Is there like an altitude constraint or something at this point? Ah, oh, now we're climbing again, okay. And the after takeoff checklist. Yeah, because I want to pause the video here and I'll see you guys as we begin our approach into Palma de Mallorca. Oh, the flaps are up. See you then. Okay, guys, we're about to begin our approach. Also, there's an MD-80 down below us. Um, right, I'm just going to tune the nearest airport list. No, th there's nothing that close. I can't really get the data. Right, um... I should start the approach. A descent preparation checklist. Descent preparation checklist. Seatbelt signs. I'm actually just going to open it. On. I wonder what happened with it. Ice. Down at Off. Altitudes. Landing information. Received. Altimeter. Standard. Bearer radio. Set. Checklist complete. Temp, I'm just going to say 25. 
Q and H, I'm going to go for one zero one zero. Right. I'll shoot two thousand. Initiating descent. There we go. That should get us. FMA check. A good thing. Radar tilt. What I'm saying is that should get us kind of down to that altitude just when we're about to level off. Or just when we need to approach, you know. Now the engines are spooling back so we don't need I don't need to really worry about that. Is there L E A P A P I'm not sure which one. It's a bit jittery at the moment, that's okay though. Well, let's just give this a small amount of spoilers, like a very small amount. Yep, pull those back in. Yeah, this is an actual route operated by Air Berlin with this aircraft. You know, A321 I mean, of course. D-A-L-S-B. Might check that out, if that's an actual aircraft. And I, I will personally be going to Mallorca. Uh, not that far in the future. So I will be seeing this airport in person. More drag. I'm sorry, this is what I assume that means. Well, that's clearly not what they want. I mean, I've given them full spoilers. It's like more drag. And we're sending a negative 2,300 feet per minute, or FPM. There's Menorca, there's Mallorca, and Ibiza's a bit further along. Oh, oh, we oh, increased the thrust. Whoops. Yep, let's hope this thing works as intended. By the looks of it, we are above the altitude we should have. You know. Oh, there's the moon. Or das Moon. I don't know how they say it in German. I'm trying to figure out that logo. Air Berlin. Nope. I'm going to assume this thing doesn't need to have the spoilers out. Okay then, I'm going to put the spoilers out then. As you can see, this thing better level off when we need to. Otherwise, that's not going to end up. That's not going to. Turn out well. If I zoom out, you will be able to see the flight plan we followed. <laughs> I'm just going to take over manual control here for a bit. That's negative 3,000 uh, FPM. So that negative 28? I was going to have us leveling out there. Negative 27? Yeah, I think we'll stick with negative 27 for the moment. The speed is still being managed by itself. No smoke effects. 
Actually, recently a Wizz Air A321 uh, flew over Budapest. I might actually recreate this at an extremely low altitude. It was, like, it was, I think, below the altitude of the Hungarian Parliament. L-E-G-E. -E. I'm presuming this is either a B or a Menorca. No, it's definitely Menorca. Wait. L-E-G-E. -E. I'm presuming that very might be L-E-G-E. -E. Yeah, sure, let's take a look. So, I have a feeling this is Ma Mallorca, maybe. No, this is Barcelona. About a grand caravan. ACRJ over Spain. Dash 8. A321, 737, Orion. 83, A321. This is over the mainlands as well because that out there is Mallorca. A Pacifica also approaching Mallorca. The 180, the Baron thing. CRJ, CRJ, and back to that 737. Oh! What? What's going on? What the hell? Yeah, I know the auto throttle is off, but why? Now let's re-engage the auto throttle. Because I don't know what happened there. We're going to need to do some serious altitude reduction. Like speed up the altitude reduction. I'm actually curious as to, as it is to whether it's just the airport that it improves you know, the scenery of. Whoa. I did not t It is gradually speeding up. Well, it just did stow the spoiler, so maybe that's plays a part of it. I'm just going to... I'm just going to take the liberty of bringing this down to 290 knots. Also increase our rate of descent. I mean, we're s we're extremely high. Damn it! What's going on? The engines are idling, and suddenly the aircraft just gains a burst of speed. Yeah, that's another reason I need to slow down because you can see that's going to mean that we're going to level off. Really? Yep, I think we had another one of those speed boosts. No, we actually didn't. Let's see if this can actually maintain the speed I told it to maintain. It was like, oh, your spoilers are still out. Yes. Because you're not going to work properly if. No, you're going to go above the speed I told you to go at. I have a feeling that's where, you know, the two emergency exits would be on an A320. And they just couldn't put them in because of because of the extra exits, you know. Or because of the fact that they don't exist. Remember, this is an A321. It's... This is an aircraft that quite often gets confused. Like, if you see it in the air, like an IAE, one with Sharkless, you quite often can get it confused with a 757 with winglets. I just need to occasionally deploy the spoilers. The thing is, we're only passing 20,000 now. The airport is almost visible. Yet it's not close enough, apparently. Let's see, see. Nearest airport list. Airport's closer to me. Nothing. 
Yep, once again. You're complaining that my speed breaks are still out. <laughs> when you suddenly give me an extra 50 or 60 knots of speed. Yeah, I do know that's the speed you're meant to maintain. I'm going to slow down to 240 knots once we get a bit lower. And there's still a 20 knot difference. So, 7,000 feet from now, so basically just a bit over two minutes from now, we need to perform quite a harsh deceleration. We need to perform a deceleration. Things I have not landed at this airport previously. Uh, custom in it. Actually, you know, let's check what the custom views look like in with an A321. Quite a lot of them are engine centric. Seriously, all these engine centric views. Trailing chase free, which just locks the camera here. It's kind of good because it shows how much the aircraft drops in that amount of time. Lead, chase, lead, starboard, port, wingtip, wing view, gear view, nose, yada, 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 yada. Alright, if I tell this to maintain itself. And now we're close enough to set speed to say 260. No, I'm definitely going to tell this to keep that. We're going to set it to 250 as we're going to descend. Uh, not descend, decelerate. We're going to descend as well, sure, but that's not the main point here. The bad thing is, I honestly can't tell if this whole island's been... I think the whole island's been given an upgrade. The nearest tower now is uh, LES B. Which I have a feeling, if I remember correctly, is not New Yorker. Yeah, we're not going to slow down to 240 knots. I can't really reduce the rate of descent yet. It, we, to reduce the rate of descent, I would need to slow down. But to slow down, I would need to reduce the rate of descent and so on. It's a kind of a loop. Oh, this definitely works. Oh, I see. This has multiple airports. LEBL? No, that's Barcelona. Definitely, we're definitely quite far away from Barcelona. How is this possible? I'm really considering doing it at this point. Suddenly, one of the engines. <laughs> Engine failure! Ah! Yes. There's actually a lighthouse out there, tip of that peninsula, I think. So I think it's that peninsula. There is definitely a lighthouse out here. Somewhere. I know this because, of course, I'm planning on going here. I mean, I need to know this stuff. And we should be leveling off shortly. That should give us a perfect opportunity to slow down. Presuming the lights are on, yeah? Yep. Yeah, assuming they did that with the checklist. You know, the lighthouse isn't modelled, and this one looks more like snow than anything else, but that... Can't really blame them, and also the cliffs look terrible, but that's... Also not their fault, because FSX isn't really good at mod modelling kind of vertical drops. Because it can only take the kind of overhead image, so if I go... Top down here, for a moment. See, that's probably exactly what Mallorca looks like from the top of Mallorca. I don't know how you pronounce it. 
However, it kind of needs to overlay that basically view that is only from the top to a 3D thing with you know just where that doesn't really show you know the depth or height and all that stuff. Yeah, so as you can see, the north. Yeah, the north side of the island, I think. Top down here. Yeah, the north side of the island is the one that's quite mountainous. However, I will say, Aerosoft... Well, you know, this is just Aerosoft quality. I mean, look at that. Every little crag, I, th I think that's what they're called, is modelled. It's beautiful. It is so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, um. Zero, one, zero. Check. It's actually one, zero, one, six. I just set that. Oh, hey, we're actually losing speed. That's good, I guess. Oh, the tablet just decided to be a bit so slow here. As you can see, we are below the altitude of a few of these mountains, which I, I'm ex oh yeah, I can zoom off quite a way in. Oh, wow. Are we that close there? Not quite. No. I guess we have to sit with forty. Two thousand five hundred. Yeah, you can see there are a few areas. I think quite a few actually. That should be. Approach checklist. I think Beacon the red status. ones are the ones that we cannot climb over. Sliding tables. Oh, that's because they actually stowed themselves. Stowed. stowed. Cabin signs. Checked. Nav currency. <coughs> Checked. Bearer reference. One zero one four now. Barrow reference set and cross checked. One zero one zero. One. Zero, one, four. Check. Checklist complete. Alright, so we're going to turn... Flight attendants, prepare for landing. Yeah, I think it's a bit... L <laughs> I would almost say it's a bit late for that, I mean, when you're at this altitude. I mean, see this farmland. I mean, I think this is genuinely over... Like an overhead view, like a top-down view. I think that there is the airport. No, no, that's not right. Let's zoom in again to 20 miles. We're less than 20 miles out from the airport. Yeah, there we go. And we should get some instructions on, you know, what to do next. Yeah, this should be a beautiful approach once we get to it, however. It, will be with a, it won't be an Air Berlin winglet, it will be a Ryanair winglet. Yeah, I think there are some boats out there. Could that be the airport there? In all honesty, I've only approached this airport once, and that was with ATC guns, and the scenery looked completely different. Well, maybe some basic topography, but that's about it. So once we reach IPAL 7, that's how I'm going to pronounce it, I'm not... I don't think that's how it would actually... There's the airport. Once again, Aerosoft quality. We're not aligned with the glide stuff here. I think we're going to be aligned there. And that's what I'm going to turn on the auto land. However, I'm going to actually land the aircraft myself, you know. Auto land approach manual landing. I'm presuming that's our kind of go around, so if we need to go around, just we, yeah, that then we take the throttles, push them up to toga, take off, go around, and I'm presuming that's the flight plan we would take to kind of, we would climb back out and just kind of get get that loaded in. Oh, that's cool now. LEPA. Yeah, Air Berlin. 
I, I definitely won't be getting off on one of those jetways. Remember, I'm flying with Ryanair. Those bastards are cutting corners in places where corners shouldn't be cut. I have a feeling that the taxiway, just judging by the shape of it, and that one, I think they used to be a... Uh... Are you sh yeah, in all honesty, I'm going to find out what our approach with 145. Flaps 1. Speed check, flaps 1. Localizer captured. I'm... Alright. Full spoilers, this is... Flaps 2. Speed check, flaps 2. Yeah, we're approaching a lot faster than we should be. Such flap. Yeah, flaps full. <laughs> Come on! Come on! One flaps thousand. three. Speed check, flaps three. Flaps full. Flaps full. Speed check, flaps full. So we're kind of already approaching with this. I thought I told these things to deploy. Can I not deploy them or something? Down and locked, three greens. Ground spoilers. Checked and armed. Auto brakes. Medium. Stereo lights. On. Go. Oh god. Yeah, that, this is kind of one of those uh, by the seat of your pants approaches, I think. I'm not sure about the buildings. However, this does look pretty nice. I'm going to stay Approaching the same. two, four, so, left. Oh, oh, of course. We're dipping below the uh, localizer. We're getting ready. 500. 500 feet above the ground. 400. I think minimum. 300. 100 above. Oh, hey, there's some windmills there. Minimum. Continue. Continue. One hundred. Seventy. Sixty. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Ten. Five. Come on. And break. 70 knots. That's when you stow the reversers. And I think we've lost enough speed at this point. There we go. That was a pretty smooth landing. Compared to the, you know, the approach. For that approach, that was a smooth landing. Well, they actually did go, did do this very well. Uh, the good thing is most of these jetways are ever lit. I have a feeling you can own you can't really take off in that direction, can you? Cause there's a bloody great mountain or hill or something in the way. And that's not even a joke. There's literally a mountain in the way. So basically I think originally that's where this thing wanted to land me. Uh, maybe that Okay, that's the APU spilling up. I think maybe technically it might be possible, however not. Not with me. Checked normal. Flaps. Checked retracted. TCAS. Checked standby. Brake temperature. Checked. APU. Well, since this is Air Berlin... Oh wait, is this for large aircraft, I think? Okay. 
No, not yet. Stop too far. Okay, I'm presuming that's good. Engines one and two off. And as I'm going to say, this is the last flight of the day. And the parking checklist. AP off. Shocks are set. Parking brakes released. That's pretty cool. Now, I'm calling a jetway. I really hope that. Hold on. I'm just going to look at the other jetway. Now, all of them have kind of that raised ladder type thing. Now, the engines are spooling down. I do hope that thing is going to attract, because I think all jetways are at this altitude, or height, or whatever. Yes. Yep, yeah, super long jetway, super long. Okay. Let's get the aircraft doors open. Let's open the front left. Front cargo, aft cargo. Oh my god. And there you go. Yes, that was a flight from Berlin Tegel International Airport to Palma de Mallorca International Airport with an Air Berlin A321. I'm Bob1025. Goodbye.